Hey dronies, you guys won't stop asking me about this Guideo 2, so I finally got my hands on one. This is an incredibly smart follow me drone. I still can't get over the shots it was able to take through trees and around structures and how it just does not crash. My photographer Hamilton, ooh, there he is, has been on the Drone Girl team almost the entire duration of Drone Girl's existence since 2013, save for the first 10 months or so, and he has seen me crash a large number of drones and climbed trees to retrieve them. He was kind of freaking out watching what I was able to do with this drone, and guess what? I took what would be considered otherwise super daring shots on any other drone. Look, going over that awning behind those branches. Okay, enough fangirling. Skydio is a super interesting company. Their drones have six overlapping visual sensors, meaning it has full obstacle detection. I can confidently say this drone is crash proof. So, the Skydio 2 actually launched back in October. Some people got their hands on it, but generally production slowdowns coupled with coronavirus putting a pause on manufacturing in California meant no fresh Skydio 2 drones. Well, production is back on and I finally got my hands on one. Plus, Skydio came out with a new software update in June 2020. I'll warn you, I just got this drone last week, so I haven't had a chance to fully test out all of its cool features, but I wanted to get you guys on YouTube a video now ahead of the new software update to let you know what I think. Safe to say, I'm impressed. You'll likely fly this drone with just your phone. All the features like orbit mode and follow me can be done 100% through the phone app. The app is a bit clunky if you want to do any sort of manual control like tilting the camera angle, but it's amazing for telling Skydio to carry out autonomous flight paths. And if you want to, you can upgrade for an extra cost to a traditional controller. Their controller is manufactured by Parrot, but loaded with Skydio software. I have to admit, I actually had trouble getting the controller to connect, so I never got around to actually using the controller when I recorded this video. In contrast, DJI drones of late just don't have those kinds of connection issues, which is a big reason why DJI might still be king of the drones. Their start to end experience is just so much better. It was some series of unplugging and replugging that I never figured out in time, and I just didn't want to waste time fiddling around with a controller when I could play with their other tool, the beacon. That said, I love this beacon. It's a magic wand type tool where you can point it in the sky indicating where the drone will fly. The beacon also enables the drone to carry out flights in more complex environments where the drone can't necessarily see you, like if you're walking through thick trees. It uses a GPS signal to return to and visually re reacquire you. For photographers who want a specific shot, this drone is actually a little hard to take control of. It's almost so smart that it can fly itself, but kind of like your brilliant friend, they might have a hard time following directions from others. But when you trust Skydio 2 to do its thing, it gets amazing shots, unlike anything another drone like a DJI drone can carry out. It's almost a fun surprise to see how the drone turns out because you never know if it'll pivot around a tree. I just had this drone follow me as I walked through the park this weekend, but I think where the Skydio 2 will really shine is in action sports. I'm excited for my next flight when I can take Skydio out for a crazy bike ride or something. It's going to be hard going back to using something like a DJI drone and losing the confidence that the drone will absolutely not crash. With the Skydio 2, it seriously is crash proof. And I had so much fun with this. Until next time, happy flying!